Yes! 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 That is a trailer! Mm. Hi guys, welcome to Nerd Bites, and this is my thoughts on the brand new trailer for Captain America Civil War. So we got the next trailer for Captain America Civil War, we got a couple of teasers yesterday telling us that it was going to come today and it was absolutely everything I thought it would be and more, it showed some really awesome shots and I can't wait to get into this, it's such an awesome trailer. It opens with the Captain America obviously talking about um, you know, how difficult it is to save people and everything, it's a very difficult job but you can't always save everyone but you'd never give up. And then you've got Thunderbolt Ross sitting him and other people down and everything like Scarlet Witch and everything showing them the damage that the Avengers have done, obviously with New York, with um, with what happened in the Winter Soldier, with what happened in Sokovia for Ultron, just and all that, and then Cap's like, that's enough. As if to say, you know, why are you trying to fuck us off? You know what I mean? We're doing our best here, we're still doing as best we can. First shot we get of Iron Man's pretty awesome, he just kind of drops out of a helicopter and fires off and that's awesome. Then he's talking to Cap saying, we need to be put in check, in any way that we're going to do that, I'm all for it. And this is where the tension's coming from. So they're starting to build the point of the story of the reason of why these two are at loggerheads. We always knew they had tension, we've seen it in other films, but to have this come to head, they need a viable reason. They're pushing for it really well in this trailer. That shot of the like that base coming out of the water, now I'm not too sure what that is. It could be something in the comic books that I, I haven't yet to figure out what it is, but that looked pretty awesome as, a, as like an underwater base type thing or could be an underwater prison or something because you kind of see potentially what's inside it from other shots looks pretty cool we get a few more shots of that uh, highway chase where Cap is chasing Black Panther and Black Panther's chasing Winter Soldier on the bike you actually get to see Black Panther catch up with Winter Soldier and drag him off the bike which is pretty awesome we get some more dialogue from Captain America saying that you know we're not perfect but we're still the best for this job considering then you've got Iron Man and War Machine like flying and everything and War Machine gets shot out of the sky presumably by Winter Soldier and then you've got Iron Man screaming Rhodes and then the next scene is you see them on the floor like he did in the other trailers. Now it's pushing it again. Is War Machine gonna die? Now I wouldn't have thought so because of the way they're pushing it in the trailers. It's kind of like why would you give away a major death, in, um, you know, major character's death in a trailer twice? So I don't think he's gonna die but he's gonna be seriously injured which is gonna really piss off Tony. Which obviously leads to other things and loads of fights. I mean, at some point you see Tony with a really bad black eye, and you even see him talking to um, Black Widow at one point with his arm in a sling as well. So, this fight, this fight between him and Cap and all, everyone else, is really going to take its toll on him. A really quick shot as well with a load of bullets pelting Black Panther, and it doesn't affect him at all, which is like more confirmation that his uh, armor is vibranium laced. So, the bullets can hit him and it's not going to affect him, which really brings this character into play a lot more. He's not just a dude in a suit, he's so armored up. Just just as much as Iron Man is necessarily, so he's he's going to be a really awesome addition. I can't wait to see more. We got a really quick shot of Vision being dragged down to his knees by Scarlet Witch's powers. So again, that's starting to ground the character of Vision a bit more because before him, we think, well, he's this indestructible android made of vibranium with the Mind Stone. It's like, how can you stop him? You know, anyone asking him on his team is stoppable. But now we've kind of got that thing where Scarlet Witch, you know, is able to like not depower him but restrain him with her powers, which is a really good way of grounding the character in this film. The Ant-Man arrow shot! We fucking get it! We get the shot that we were looking forward to getting ripped straight from the comics. Hawkeye firing an arrow with Ant-Man on top of it was absolutely fucking awesome. And then you get the final dialogue saying they've started a war and this kind of stuff between Iron Man and Cap. And then You've got Iron Man putting up his, uh, his hand and saying, stop now, last chance. And you've got an awesome line from Cap saying, I can do this all day, looking pretty beaten down. And that reflects straight back to Captain America, the first Avenger, when before he was given the super soldier serum, when he was just a weedy little guy being beat up in an alley. Having that reflect back to that was just so poetic. The way they put that together was brilliant, really well done. Then you finally get a load of massive fights between the two and beating the shit out of each other. Then you see the two teams going for a collide and then it just cuts to black. You think, is that it? And then you got Iron Man saying, right, I've had enough. And he calls in Fucking Spider-Man! Yes, he's definitely in this trailer. I was worried about whether he's going to be in this trailer, whether you just see him in the film. But he's in this trailer right at the very end. He drops down, he web shoots Captain America's shield, web shoots his hands, takes his shield off him and lands on top of a truck with Cap's shield in hand and just says, Hi you guys, and then bang, the title comes up. What a way to introduce the character. The suit looks absolutely fucking awesome. It looks different from anything else we've seen before, but still really Spider-Man-esque. And potentially, I'm not too sure that Iron Man might have something to have done with, with that suit. It looks a little bit more high-tech. 
and it also confirms that Spider-Man is definitely on Iron Man's team, which is awesome, because he'll obviously be really influential as a really young kid to Iron Man, he'd be a bit more, you know, he, he'd like Iron Man a lot because he's 15 years old and this guy's got loads of tech and he's cool, so it makes sense for him to be on his team. It was awesome. Overall, this trailer was absolutely epic. It was one of the best trailers I've seen in a long time. I think it's probably up there with the Suicide Squad trailer we got earlier in the year. Epic trailer, really good way of developing the characters, awesome shots, awesome introduction to Spider-Man as well. Absolutely epic. So that's what I thought of the new Captain America Civil War trailer. What did you think about it? Make sure you let me know down in the comments or send me an email. You can also find me on various social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and moviepilot.com. Just type in Nerdbytes anywhere and I'm sure you'll find me. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. And of course, keep it nerdy.